Lorraine surveyed the Milan runway, not with the usual model's icy detachment, but with the warmth of a woman who knew she didn't belong. Sure, her curves defied the industry's stick-thin standard, her fiery curls cascaded past her shoulders like molten gold, and her emerald eyes held the mischief of a summer storm. But Lorraine was different. She spoke five languages, devoured philosophy books like aperitifs, and dreamt of composing symphonies, not strutting in stilettos. As the music kicked in, the other models glided forward, faces blank, bodies mannequins. Lorraine stepped out, however, and the runway tilted. Her smile wasn't practiced, it bloomed like a secret, her walk a confident sachet, hips swaying to a rhythm only she heard. In that moment, Lorraine wasn't a model, she was a story unfolding, a melody dancing on the fabric of the air. The crowd, used to predictable beauty, gasped. Lorraine didn't just walk the runway, she owned it, a curvy concerto in a world of monotonous sonnets. And when she reached the end, the applause wasn't polite, it was thunderous, an ovation for the woman who dared to be different, dared to be beautiful on her own terms. As she bowed, a tear glistened on Lorraine's cheek, not for the fleeting validation, but for the symphony that finally found its voice.